Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for viewing. Thanks to my lovers and my haters and my fans and my followers. I want to thank first God, my family, especially my mother, father and brother, my friends, especially Marcus, Hannah and Haley, and my fans and followers. I want to apologize for the messy floor. This is dirt from the rainstorm. Uh, I haven't mopped since the rainstorm. But if you see, this is his backpack. And I don't know which side is which. I think this side is my medicine. And then this side is seven days worth of medicine. It has my morning meds, my evening meds, and my daily vitamins. Uh, right now it has water with hydration packets in it. Basically it makes the water twice as hydrating. I plan on replacing the water with two um, two protein drinks, Premier Pro Protein with like some type of granola bar or something. I just need the calories with the protein drink and the snack to equal 350. Uh, and that will be kept in that one. And in this one, he has a water bowl, a collapsible water bowl. He has purified water, which I try to use drinking water. Now he doesn't always get drinking water but um, he normally gets filtered water. But I have water bottle for him, which I learned he will drink a full water bottle. So in this pack, if, if this side weighs more, I would put two water bottles in there, a collapsible bowl, and uh, my papers, which basically I will get a, a doctor's note from my primary saying that I, I, well, I use a service animal, which they've already done before. I just like to do a yearly renewal service animal. And if they have any questions to call their office, I also plan on when I start seeing my therapist, uh, after a couple of visits, I will explain what I want. And hopefully, if I present to them proof that I'm federally disabled, I would like them to say that they are treating me for my federal disability. And I want to use the word federal disability just to make it more formal. I, whatever the therapist's name is, am currently treating Travis Michael Martin or Travis M. Martin. That's probably Travis M. Martin. Uh, for his federal disability and he uses a service dog and then if it's possible it's harder to get my psychiatrist to do a service animal but uh, like last time they asked what breed of dog Glacies was and this is biased and illegal to be truthful uh, he wasn't comfortable with doing that even though she was the sweetest dog in the world he wasn't comfortable with uh, writing it so he just wrote that I that I am treated for my federal disability so there's three doctor's notes and by the way it is illegal for anyone to ask me what my disability is or if I have certification because there is no such thing as federal certi certification there is nothing to hold up in court if you're sued other than a doctor's note claiming you're disabled that is really the only thing realistic we can have. So I will have three doctor's notes, my primary, my therapist, which isn't a doctor, but medical professional, psychiatric professional, and my psychiatrist. I will also want to get a letter from my insurance or, if it's possible, the federal government just stating that I'm on federal disability or something to prove that and then finally or not finally and then I would also want to every year have an updated 
version of her vaccinations or his vaccinations and I uh, would like to finally get Samson certified by the American Kennel Society as a canine good citizen, advanced canine good citizen, and urban canine good citizen. And after I get all of that, and after I train him, he is already trained in one task. The fact that he wears that most of the day, which I'm changing around to just doing the nighttime, because uh, I don't take medicine during the day. But basically, if he's on the go with me, but if, he, if he's at home, like after I finish this video, I'll probably take it off, set it aside, I have some oatmeal foam that is good for sensitive skin and I'll rub it on his chest area where this and this goes across his chest and then in the back I hope to eventually buy, I, ha I have soothing bodies or soothing dry sh shampoo or whatever, I don't know what it's called, it's actually a spray you can wash them with. but. It also is good for the skin. I will personally look for a reconditioning of the skin spray to spray on his body. And I plan, I'm debating should I take it off every day after I take my morning meds and then put it back on if I leave with him. But while we're just hanging out at the house, that he's off duty and that uh, he doesn't have the pack on. The pack is supposed to symbolize he's on duty, which hasn't really set in yet. But after I, since I already have him trained in one, federally I believe you just need two, uh, and the one I'm training him is to be, uh, to basically, what I'm doing, my alarm clock is Stronger by Britney Spears. I did that because I like Britney Spears. I like the intro, it's a good alarm, and if I ever get a different phone, I can still bring in that song and turn it into it instead of have a different tone. So I'm changing my phone ringer to stronger, and I'm changing my alarms to stronger, and how I'm training him right now, how I just trained him, is he normally gets three cups of dry food and one can of wet food what he's doing instead, I'm splitting it up and feeding him small portions at a time. And basically I called him in, I started playing the song, I called him to me and gave him lovings. The mistake I didn't do was rile him up and get him excited, but I will do that next time. And then I fed him just like one cup of dry food, which I'm sure he's like, why is it just that much? He's going to get fed four times a day until I need to just feed him twice a day and then eventually he might just do once a day but I really I think it'd be easier to just do twice a day once when I take my morning pills and once when I take my nighttime pills and then currently while we're doing while we're training at hardcore we're just going to do four times a day and basically like I said I'll play the music I'll call him over I'll get him excited I'll then feed him, while, and while he's eating, I keep on restarting the music. So it just plays a little bit until maybe the first lyric where it says, hush, just stop, and then start over again. Uh, that way he's conditioned to that, and then when he hears it, he'll think, I get food, which will give him even more reason to get hyper and excited and wake me up. And after that's done, he is then everything that's required for a federal service dog, except I, at the same time, will have to teach him uh, training. And I'm debating, instead of actually getting him fed or professionally trained, if I can train him and it's not too hard to train him to get the alarm, all he has to do from then on is be able to is be able to be in society and act like a service dog, which means you only focus on me. Uh, and I think the way I can do that is to have treats, and which honestly, what I might do is 
just get a Kong cheese thing and squirt a little bit out on my finger and let him eat that instead of just getting metal, I mean a whole pouch of whatever. I can always carry that in my bag, a, a little thing of Kong cheese. But with that said, once he's trained in two tasks, and once he's behaved to act like a service dog in public, that's all he needs. Everything else is extra, and it's a lot of money. And I would rather pay the money for me to learn how to train him, because I think it'd be a lot more rewarding for me to train him and him learn from me than pay someone else thousands and thousands of dollars to professionally train him. And again, I trained Glacies, even though I didn't know at the time that she needed two tasks. She was really only trained in one, which is deep pressure therapy. Uh, and uh, basically she knew that automatically. I just, I just attached a, a cue. And then once the cue was attached, it was a task. And basically I'd, pat my, I'd cross my arms and pat my shoulders and I'd sit down on the ground or kneel and then she'd jump up and push her whole body against me. God, I miss her. She was such a beautiful, kind, sweet dog and I am so sorry she's gone. But I will say I believe I can handle or train Samson where I don't have to pay thousands and thousands of dollars. There are apps that do basic training like Recall and off or loose leash and uh, which he would always be on a leash even though service animals aren't required on a leash there is no reason for him to be detached from me so what I would probably do is once he's off the choke collar which I feel is necessary to turn him from a tr service dog in training once he learns the first task and then his next goal is t simple behavior, I'm going to put a sticker on him that says service dog in training. Because again, two tasks is all that is necessary. And then the in training part is for behavior. And then when his behavior is good enough to be approved by the American Kennel Society for Canine Good Citizen, basic, advanced, and urban, then that's all I personally feel is necessary for uh, a service animal. Again, bare minimum federal requirement by the ADA is two tasks and good behavior. Uh, and again, there is no federal certification, but there are tasks that I personally would set the goals for. Uh, the first professional place I went to actually wanted to teach her four goals. She already knew one of the goals or one of the tasks, which is the medicine bag. But the other goals would be medicine reminder, which is what I'm teaching him. And then uh, interruption, which is not a necessary one, but it would be good. And that's the one that would be harder to train. And then uh, I would say deep pressure therapy or leaning against me. Uh, or actually just keeping my, an eye on my back and everything would be nice too. But I can't think of a real third task that is strictly for my disability, but a ta two tasks that definitely are, besides the medicine bag, is medicine reminder and interruption. And I, th I personally think if I can train him in medicine reminder and train him in basic care or basic needs or basic training or whatever, then I feel I am comfortable enough for him to, uh, to basically be a service animal. The only other task that I would need to train him in, which would be harder, is for him to get small basically where he moves his body to be the smallest as possible. So if we're in a restaurant, typically the dog's supposed to be under the table, but I would prefer me sitting on the edge and Samson uh, 
laying beside me, even though it would be in the aisle, I would rather him sit uh, beside me, sit up straight the whole time, uh, which would be more difficult to train because I would have to ask the restaurant, say, hey, my dog is trained in tasks. He just needs to learn to sit through a meal and not really be in the way. And I don't know how else to train him in that unless going to a restaurant. Would you allow me to bring my trained service dog who would already be trained? Like by that time, he'd have two tasks. Actually, never mind. I probably wouldn't even have to ask because if he has two tasks and he's well behaved, no matter what, I can bring him in and then just train him, uh, continue training him. And while, as long as he's trained in behavior wise, and then the two tasks, that's all that's necessary. And then the other training, which I would not be required to call him a service dog in training, would be ta extra tasks like interruption or becoming small. Uh, an example would be on an airplane, which I flew with Glacies before. What he would do is just lay down in front of me or sit up if it's too small. Uh, again, dogs aren't allowed in, ch in chairs. Uh, they're also not supposed to be fed. So that's another thing is I need to stop feeding him uh, because that's another task that is basic training is to not beg, uh, which I learned that the first service dog place uh, basically would use a choke collar where you'd pull it and he was very receptive to that one. But since, ever since I used that, he doesn't, he pulls a little bit, but not too much. And once I pull it, he stops pulling. But eventually they move from the choke collar to a, to a necklace. It's not a shock collar like electric, but it's a TENS unit that just puts out something. I don't know what it puts out, but it just may, it basically makes the muscles contract. I don't know if you've ever used a TENS unit where there's two sticky pads and it, like you put it on your arm. I did it on my face. Basically they put needles in my face when I had Bell's palsy and then attached the TENS unit to the needles and it would contract my muscles. It does not hurt, but it can be scary. And that's why you would have to first use a vibrate. Actually you would first use the TENS unit and then start low and then raise it higher for him to command and then once he's good with the TENS unit move it to vibrate so you don't have to do the TENS unit or the shock uh, whatever you want to call it but yeah that is my goal I feel like originally I was planning on doing a professional dog training but to be honest, I feel that I can accomplish it on my own without paying thousands and thousands of dollars. But I am also willing, if the basic training is too hard, to go to one of the service dog places that I went to and just say, hey, I've trained my dog in at least two tasks and I did most of the basic training, so I have been using him as a service dog, would it be possible to pay for you all to do basic training and include things like becoming small uh, and not do any other tasks than that? Uh, and then just ask them. And then after that's done, after he's trained and I am pleased with the results in the process, then eventually once I get the money, pay the extra fees to get him professionally trained and if I needed to get him professionally trained I'd probably get him if I can if I think I can do the medicine reminder but I feel that it would be easiest to get the made small and the interruption and then the either leaning against me or walking in a circle around me, which would be harder to do, but I'm sure a professional could do that. But yeah, they, the first place wanted three 
tasks, not including wearing the backpack, but honestly, those are the alarm and the backpack are two, and those are all you need for a federal service dog. But the the trainer want likes to do three plus the pack, uh, just to go over and above. But again, that's not necessary. And now I'm pretty sure I've decided to handle or train him mainly because it's cheaper, but also because I think it's more rewarding to put in the work and to learn him and to know him and to understand him. Because again, like I connected with Glacies, I hope to connect with him even more so after experiencing the love and teachings that Glacies have taught me and changed me. So I hope to be able to show my dedication and love by working with him and handler training my service dog.